Grok 3 is disrupting the AI market, but can it write? Let's find out. I'm going to run Grok 3 through a couple of the, my usual tests for writers, coming up with a premise, an outline, actually writing the story, and revising the story to see all the different ways that you can use this tool for writing. Let's see if it's any good. First, let's have it come up with some ideas for us. Let's see what it gives us with just a very simple prompt. Obviously, the better prompt you give it, the better results you'll get. This is actually very quick. This is the latest Grok model, number three, Grok three. It's supposed to be the smartest and the fastest. We have a timekeeper's vassal. We have titles here and we have the concept. Let's read a few of these, see if they're any good. The timekeeper's vow. The concept, a woman who repairs antique clocks discovers one that lets her glimpse her soulmate's life. So it's like a fantasy romance but only in fleeting, out-of-order moments. When she meets him in the present, he's a heartbroken widower who doesn't believe in love anymore. So there's the conflict. That's what's going to keep them apart. She must unravel the clock secrets to rewrite their fractured timeline and prove their destiny. to be. That actually sounds like a, a really good romance novel that I would like to read, if you like the fantasy elements, which I do. All right, let's see if there's one that's a little bit more grounded. Uh, okay. Echoes of Us. Concept, a composer with... Ooh, that's a tough word for me. Synesthesia? Here's emotions as melodies and falls for a mute street artist whose vivid paintings trigger symphonies in her mind. I actually like that. Kind of blew me away how good that is. That, that's a, an interesting, unique connection. It's a, a different kind of a meet cute. As they communicate through art and music, they uncover a shared past where their love ended in tragedy and a mysterious force threatening to repeat history. That part right there seems less like a, a romance novel, some kind of thriller. I probably would keep the first part and maybe this part here, take that out. There's a lot of fantasy elements in here. Let's take this premise and turn it into more of a fully fleshed out story outline with character names and, and plot. Let's change this premise into more of a back cover blurb or query letter. Fine is a good next step and a good test. Let's see what we get with just this extra thinking. See if it can turn this into more of a story. Look at how it's thinking there. That's cool. I like that. What does this do? And I guess it's thinking, and then it'll give us an answer. Okay, we're in Paris now. The echoes of us. In the heart of Paris, where art whispers and music sings, two souls find a connection beyond words. We have some names. Alina, a gifted composer, has lost her muse. Once her music overflowed with passion and life, now it mirrors the silence left by a broken heart. Searching for inspiration, she roams the city's bustling streets, desperate to rediscover the spark that once defined her. Lucas Duvall. A mute street artist speaks through his art. His vibrant paintings, bold, raw, and brimming with unspoken emotion, draw crowds and capture hearts. Though he cannot voice his thoughts, his canvases reveal a world of feeling. When Alina encounters Lucas's works on a crowded street corner, she's instantly captivated. Each brushstroke seems to hum with a melody she can't ignore. Drawn to the quiet man behind the easel, she reaches out and a unique conversation begins, not with words, but through the shared language of music and art. As Alina's compositions take on the colors of Luca's paintings, their lives intertwine. Her music becomes a reflection of his silent emotions while his art begins to echo her melodies. Together, they craft something extraordinary, a partnership that blossoms into longing, trust, and love. But love is never without its shadows. Okay, so I was thinking, this is all great. Where's the conflict? Alina's past heartbreak looms, threatening to pull her back into isolation, while Lucas guards a history he's reluctant to share. Okay, so we got some... Some secrets here, some conflict. I like it. In a city alive with creativity and secrets, they must confront their fears and learn to lean on each other. Their bond faces its ultimate test at a grand exhibition where their combined art and music will be unveiled. Will the harmony they've built withstand the pressures of their past, or will silence reclaim what they fought to create? Echoes of Us is a tender, emotional journey of two artists falling in love, one note, one stroke at a time. It's unique. It's something that I would want to write and want to read. Next, let's see if Grok can take this idea and turn it into a full plot outline for a novel that would help either us write it ourselves with AI coach for editing, or if it can actually write some of the passages, the scenes itself. You can use these tools in all kinds of different ways. I didn't hit think this time, so it's going to go faster. Echoes of Us. It's a contemporary romance. Okay. Paris, France, present day, 2025. Opening hook. We have a scene, a twist, and a purpose. This is good. I like how it's breaking this down. Then we have introducing the character, 
Her breakup with her ex-fiance, Mark, two years ago, shattered her confidence and silenced her creativity. We have seen conflict purpose, so this is the first act one. Maybe it's a little bit short. Depends on how long these scenes are. Act two, force proximity. There's first romantic gesture, a midpoint already. Purpose, building intimacy, act three. I really like the way this outline is presented. I like the detail of it. Um, I'm a little worried about it's not enough story for a long enough novel, but I know romance novels are sometimes shorter. We need to test it and how it can actually write. Uh, you can have it write for you or you can have it rewrite what you've written. We're going to say five ways to start act one. I think it's helpful to ask for options because that can spark your own creativity or you can just choose the best one that you like. And I think for every, maybe not every paragraph, but for every scene, every chapter, Every plot point, you should revisit the AI tool and ask for suggestions to keep the ideas flowing. So you don't just, you're not locked into the first draft plot. It's an evolving outline. There's five different ways, according to Grok, that we can get into this. Elena said her piano, fingers hovering over the keys. The once familiar ivory felt foreign now, like a language she'd forgotten. That's pretty good. This is focused on the creative struggle, which is probably good for this novel, The Streets. Ma, ma bustled with life, artist and tourist, mingling under the autumn sun. Elena walked among them, her notebook clutched to her chest, searching for a spark of inspiration. Two years ago, Elena had stood in the same apartment watching Mark pack his bags. It's not you, it's me, he'd said, the cliché cutting deeper than any original words could have. The store had closed, and with it, her world had unraveled, her trust, her joy, and worst of all, her music. The orchestra swelled, the music filling the concert hall with vibrant sounds. Alina said at the audience, her heart unmoved. Once, this would have stirred her soul, each note in brushstroke of the canvas. You need to get out more, Sophie said, sipping her coffee at the usual cafe near the scene. Alina stared into her own cup, the steam rising like the doubts in her mind. Could definitely do any of these. Good on Grok 3. Because I didn't want to write this myself, I had ChatGPT pretend it was a, a young writer who wasn't very experienced and was trying to write the first scene. This is what we came up with. There's plenty of room for Grok 3 to revise and edit this. I'm going to feed this into Grok 3 and ask for some feedback. We're thinking for a few seconds. It should come back with some feedback and a better scene. So here's the strengths. Areas for improvement. We need more showing versus telling. Sometimes vague language instead of more specific, concrete, evocative words, sensory depth, emotional nuance, engagement, and pacing. This is all good stuff that you could honestly apply yourself, but here's the rewritten version. Elena hunched over her ancient piano in the cluttered chaos of her tidy, cluttered chaos, I like that alliteration. Her fingers poised above the keys, crumpled sheets of staff paper littered the floor like fallen leaves, each scribbled measure a relic of her unraveling creativity. The dim light seeping through the smudged window cast a gray veil over the room, draining the vibrancy from the city beyond, a city that once fueled her music but now mocked her silence. That's a good first paragraph. Honestly, it's better than most people could write their first paragraph. Now, it's not very creatively fulfilling to have AI do it for you, but this gives you an example of how you could write it yourself. So you could take this as inspiration, rewrite it yourself, Start with this, write the rest of the novel, come back and change it once you're more into the novel. I find the first page, the first chapter, the first 50 pages, the hardest to write of a novel because you're setting everything up, you're getting into the story, but after everything's together, I've heard Stephen King or Dean Koontz and other writers say that once you get past that beginning part, the story starts to have an engine that fuels itself. She struck a chord and the notes clawed their way out discordant, brittle, and melody that crumbled before it could take shape. Nice. I actually really like that sentence. These sentences are good. She'd meant to summon something bright, something alive, but the sound twisted into a mournful wail, as if the piano itself mourned the life she'd lost when Mark walked away. So we're getting her creative battle. We're naturally and organically bringing in this breakup. The echo lingered, heavy and hollow, threading through the stillness like a ghost of the songs they'd once written together. Her breath hitched, heart hammering as she pressed the keys. This is really good. I like it. And you could certainly have Grog 3 write this whole novel. Or if you wanted to write it yourself, which I suggest possible that you do the writing yourself. And then you could ask Grog 3 for feedback and suggestions to fix problems with the plot. That's meta level editing and revising, but also line by line editing. 
and I think will help you come up with a better story, but also you'll put more of your heart and soul into it, and you'll be able to write a better novel next time. Let's do the deep research. Let's see what that even does. So we're exploring novel settings, because I want to come up with the greatest places in Paris to tell this story. It could be a cafe. It could be a famous landmark. I've actually had the chance to go to Paris. It's such a beautiful, wonderful, historical city. Okay, so key points. Best Paris locations include these places. Nuit Blanche Festival. I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that. A dynamic setting for their climatic art exhibition, testing their bond in a public, vibrant atmosphere. The apartment, the studio, the river, Paris's romantic rain. I like it. Detailed survey notes called the City of Light. This is really cool. It's an all-night art and culture festival. Great for the climax. Famous works, that Le Louvre. I've only been the outside of the Louvre, but it was so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. So much more grand. It was pretty incredible. My final verdict is Grop 3 is really good for writing novels and for novelists and writers. Check it out. It's free right now, so start an account. Thanks for watching.